Good morning, guys. It's almost 5.30 a.m. We're at our second endurance ride of the year. And I am on my way down to go get BB. We got here last night, but I didn't vlog anything last night. Um, but she is down here in a stall. And so I'm gonna go get her to get ready for our ride. Yeah, this is. All right, guys, I'm back at camp. We just finished our first um, 15 mile loop. So I untacked BB, she's over here in a stall. I'm just letting her cool down. She pulsed in like right away. So we walked back the last eighth of a mile or quarter mile or something. So her pulse could come back down. And so she could just see the vet right away um, when she got in here. The girl I'm riding with, her horse's pulse is a little bit too high yet. So she's just letting him rest. A few minutes but yeah all right got water hey a little bit of beet pulp if she wants to eat it yeah All right, just got tacked back up. Going out on our second loop. I'm just gonna go meet the girl I'm riding with. We're gonna go check back in. To check back in so they know we're going back out. Hey, Beebs. Beebs doesn't even seem tired.
BB's getting lazy. <laughs> Still going. Get up here. All right, we just got back from our second loop, so we're done now. But BB's pulse was just like one beat too high. She was at a 16, so came over and untacked her, sponged her off a little. Now I gotta go vet out, this is my vet card. And then we'll be scored based on how well she's conditioned. So, doing good. <laughs> she's like, no. Okay. Those will be fun to clean. Roll back up. All right, that beeb settled in. Our campsite was right here. And there's this double wide stall over here. Sugar, Sugar's here, by the way. She's over in the covered arena in a stall. Cause I put them there last night, but then I didn't realize this stall next to us is um, double. So I'm gonna let her just like munch for a little bit, just to make sure she's eating and keeping her gut moving. And then I'm just gonna go get Sugar, bring her over here. I brought Sugar so that we could possibly trail ride tomorrow if somebody wanted to trail ride, so. Yes, 30 miles down. Beebs is looking good, feeling good. Although I think she got, I think she had a girth rub right here. She just like rubbed the hair off. But this was her just beet pulp mixture from earlier. 
then I had some hay in here in case she wanted to eat hay. But I'm gonna take this out because Lord knows sugar will destroy it. And that's all I have to feed you till tomorrow. Hey girl. Okay, yeah, nice big double wide stall for them. But I'm gonna put all my stuff away and then I need to go over and clean that stall over there that sugar was just in. Cause it's just a courtesy, you know, clean your stalls. They at least have wheelbarrows, but oh goodness. These, this group of horses right here have just been fascinated by everything we've done this weekend. <laughs> Sugar's like, I don't want nothing to do with you. Um, but yeah, this is our little cabin that we've been staying in. Trailer set up and yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna put all my crap away. Oh, I'm gonna bring myself some lunch. Girls over here eating. Camps, or, you know, ride is happening over there. And we're right here next to this outdoor arena. So tomorrow I think I might take Sugar out in the arena and just practice our arena etiquette. But yeah, I'm cooking some lunch because I'm hungry. And then after I clean that stall down by the covered arena, God, I look disgusting. Um, we're gonna go to town and make a Dollar General run because I didn't bring any shampoo or conditioner or body wash. So yeah. <laughs> How's your farm? How's your farm? What? How's your farm? Good. Better than your real one. Thank God. I think Sugar's fighting with this horse in this pen. <laughs> well, I just fed the girls. Just got them hay and then got just a tiny bit of green here with that I put a little electrolytes in it. I might just let him share it. Shugs, he cannot even get to it. Look at her. Such a brat. Um, and then we are gonna go head to the other side of the campground for the potluck dinner. Um, pretty much every endurance ride has like a little potluck or something of the sort on Saturday nights, just to give everybody their awards for completion, um, your turtle award if you came in last, or just like, you know, stuff like that. Um, and they talk a little bit, thank everyone, all the volunteers. So we're gonna go do that here in a few minutes, but I just wanted to feed the girls so that they were dealt with before I went, get them their green. Yep, dig in, Trigger, even though you didn't do shit today. But at least they're sharing. Sugar's not as mean to Bibi when we're not at home and she's our only friend. But Bibi will weasel her way in there. Oh man, we just got back from the award ceremony. Um, I got the turtle award for the LD lightweight. Um, so yeah. Got the turtle award, got a completion award. Um, but I also took a shower while we were down there because the shower house is super nice here. So stopped in, took a shower, but we're back at the campsite now. I'm just gonna put a little liniment on BB's legs. I don't think she's sore or anything, but I just like to put this, this is just the stuff I bought at the store, um, just on her like cannon bones. Just, I don't know, I just do. Cause it makes me feel better, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that quick. And they're still munching on their hay, but um, otherwise I'm gonna go back in the cabin for the rest of the night. And I don't really have any plans for it in the morning. I want to ride sugar over here in this outdoor arena. 
and then um, I probably will ask if they need any help with the ride, if they need any volunteers, but if they don't, then I'll just pack up and go. Looks like there's a storm rolling in. I just saw it lightning again. I hope it's not gonna storm too bad as I move them out here out of the covered arena. But um there, got that on her legs. And um yeah, this little cabin that we got, it's so nice. I'm so glad we got a cabin. So I got a cabin because um Thomas has never come horse camping with me before, and he said he would go if I got an air-conditioned cabin, because he don't want to sit around all day while I'm out riding in a tent with no AC or stuff like that. So I was like, okay, whatever. This place has like multiple cabins that you can rent, so I just went ahead and, and got this one, and it's super nice. I'll have to show you guys it a little bit more tomorrow, but the lighting's not good in there at all. It's super dark in there, but... Um, it's just got like a bed and a loft. Um, there's people walking away. And then a mini fridge, a toaster oven, and you know, AC obviously. And then he brought the TV and his Xbox so that while I was out most of the morning riding, he could just play his Xbox or something. So, so yeah, but uh, I think. I think I'm cleaned up enough for tonight, so I'm going to wash this liniment off my hands and get my fire started, if we don't get rained on. Alright guys, oh gosh, <clears throat> where did my voice go? Okay, told you I was going to show you guys our cabin, so I'll show you the cabin. It's messy because it hasn't been cleaned, but this is the there's the loft. There's like two twin beds up there. So you can sleep up there. And then this. And then, yeah. Just a table, a mini fridge, all of our stuff, all of our. But, um. Yeah. And there's beams right there. He's starting the fire. Okay, it's Sunday morning, and we're gonna go home today. But we're supposed, the sign says we're supposed to be out of this cabin by 11, but I don't think they're super strict about it. So, I don't know. I need to go to the bathroom and then come back and feed the girls. in that little pony.
so nice that our cabin's right there and this arena is so close. Oh, they have poles too. They've got some barrels set up out here. I might do a little barrel practice with sugar because my lesson kids have been doing some barrels with sugar and it'd be cool to see what she's got. Bibi's over there yelling for us, but they grush eggs. Got all these stalls right here. Nice arena, a lot of chunky rock though. I don't know if I like that, but that's okay. And then over here by this murky, nasty pond, there's a bunch of trail obstacles. So might see if she'll go over those. I'm sure she will. These are nasty, murky ponds. And this one right here that has the trail that goes into it right there, used to be clear, you could ride across it. I don't know if I'd want to do that now. It looks pretty gross. But just warming up a little bit. I'm not going to do much. I'll probably ride her for 20, 30 minutes. Just walk, trot, lope. And I just wanted to ride her because I brought her here. And like, she may as well get used. I thought about trail riding with somebody today. Uh, my friend's family usually comes and they trail ride, but we have to be out of that cabin by 11. I think I told you guys this earlier, so I don't know if I'll have time because Thomas will just have to basically sit in the truck, walk. So I figure I just put sugar around this arena a little bit. She's more of an arena horse lately. She gets used for lessons and shows now, so be good for her. And it's good for her to be ridden by an adult once in a while because she gets a little too comfortable dragging those kids around and she just needs ridden by an adult and her manners tuned up and stuff so so yeah i don't know if there's a place to set up my camera otherwise i would it doesn't really look like there is
Oh, I can't reach up from there. Good girl. Ooh. Oh, Step up. One more. Ooh. Ha ha. Let's try not to get off. <laughs> But, but when we got over there, the teeter totter, teeter totter was like balanced. So, so she step on it and then it go down, and she wouldn't get on it. So I get off and then we went over it. Gonna roll. Yep. All right, guys, we just made it home. It was actually about a little over two hours. Got to get home. I'm like dripping because it's just like humid and hot outside. But um, I have just kind of finished up unpacking. I got the girls back down in their dry lot down there and they are seemingly comfortable and happy. So overall, I think it was a pretty good trip. I'm very happy with how both of them did. BB, I think that's, that's the longest ride we've ever done, 30 miles. We did a 25 a couple years ago, but we've never done anything more than that. So the 30 mile um, is what we completed. And I was really happy with how she did. Um, she was, she got a little lazy there on the second loop, but she kept going. She kept trying for me. And it was a lot of like shaded, nice, cool trails. So very happy with that. Sugar, when I rode her this morning, she did really good too in the arena. So definitely happy with that. Um, it was a good trip. My boyfriend enjoyed it, I think. So he says he'll come back next year. Um, but yeah, um, also wanted to show you guys one thing. So on Thursday before we left, I had a lesson. Um, and so one of my lesson girls, her dad does a lot of wood cutting and stuff. So I was like, you know, if you ever want to put that chainsaw to work a little bit more you know I, I wouldn't charge you for a lesson <laughs> so he came out and he cut these three trees down that were in the riding ring so that's super awesome I've been wanting to get those cut out for months now so yeah those are cut out now um so I'm just gonna be working on cleaning those up and and burning you know those so that this riding ring is a little bit more feasible and practical and it's also gonna be safer just without those trees in there for kids to run into. So yeah, also um, little update on 
Hazel, Hazel's got a new friend over there, Hope, is now living across the lane here. Um, and Bree's over there by herself now. But um, my boarders wanted to move Hope because she still nurses off of Embry and she's over a year old. So they wanted to move her because that horse is kind of a hard keeper. Um, and so, yeah, it was just really, it was time. It was definitely over time to, to get them separated. But so she's living over there with, with Hazel now, probably just for a month or two to like make sure that her mom is all dried up and everything. She's not actually producing anything more. I don't know if she even was, but yeah. So that, I don't think I got anything else, honestly. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeshift vlog. Um, it's been a while since I've vlogged, but there's definitely going to be more training videos coming soon. I actually talked with a trainer um, about Oakley, and I think I'm going to be taking maybe a few lessons from her with Oakley. Just because, I don't know. So, like, I think I talked to you guys one day about, like, having just a little bit of anxiety about training. And I don't know why. Because, like, Hazel and Oakley always do really well. And I don't have any reason to be, like, anxious about it. And, like, when I get in the ring, I'm not anxious with them. But, like, Oakley, she just has not been progressing the way that I would have liked her to this year. And, honestly, I wanted to be riding her this year. That was my whole plan last year was to be, to have her under saddle this year. And now it's almost August. And neither one of them are under saddle. So it's been a little bit frustrating for myself, but I'm trying to like be easy on myself about it because I have had just a lot going on and I've like wrestled with the thought of just of selling Oakley um, just because I don't have like the time or whatever, but I'm like at the same time, I really want to stick it out. Like even if it takes, you know, two or three years to really get her under saddle and going like she might be worth it, you know? Um, and it's not like, it's not, you know, her job to, to be a riding horse either. So if it, if it takes as long as time, as long of amount of time as it takes, then maybe that's okay too. God, um, now I can't talk. So I don't know. I might be taking some lessons from a, a really well-known trainer in my area and, um, hauling her down there, but that means I have to get her in the trailer. So we're going to just have to see how that goes. But yeah, where was I going with that? I don't, I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and stay tuned for some more videos and I'll see you guys later.